previous video, I was telling Dimitri that there are three species of elephant, and he had questions. Defining a species is actually more challenging than most people think, and biologists do it in many ways. The most common definition is what's known as the biological species concept, which states that a population of organisms that can and do mate sexually in the wild and produce viable offspring or fertile offspring are considered a species. There are many other species concepts. The other two biggies are morphological, or what it looks like, and genetic. With that said, in the olden days, they used to recognize two species of elephant, the African elephant and the Asian elephant. But a couple decades ago, geneticists were exploring the African elephant populations, and they discovered that there was actually two separate species there. The forest elephant, which is smaller, occupies a different habitat, eats different things, and then the savanna elephant, which is the bigger one that most of us recognize. But it's actually not even that simple, because there's populations below the level of species that can be distinct enough, either in where they are, how they look, behaviors, etc. So biologists sometimes recognize what are called subspecies. There are a few different recognized subspecies of Asian elephant. There's the Sri Lankan, the Indian, and the Sumatran. And then there's the Bornean elephant, which is actually a pygmy elephant. Biologists are still debating on whether that's a subspecies or not. There's also a pygmy forest elephant in Africa, but right now it's not considered a separate subspecies. What I love about this example, other than it gives me an opportunity to combine elephants and cats and science all in one amazing video, is that it shows the process of science. One would think that defining a species or how many species there are would be a fact and would be incontrovertible and unchanging, but science doesn't work that way. Science is constantly changing as new evidence comes in, so even something that we would consider a fact can change over time. In the future, we may learn more and our classification may change even further. Okay, what does all this mean? Science is awesome and so is Dimitri.